Hey, what's up? It's Rob Gordon, the wingman. Some people asked me to do a review on the Axis Froth. This is a 65 liter, that's what I ride. I'm anywhere from 190 to 200 pounds, depending on the day. This is a great size for me. It's pretty much the smallest I can go and still be able to ride even in light winds. This is four foot eight, 23 and a half wide. And I'm not sure about the thickness, probably like four inches or so. It's pretty thick. There's a lot of volume in a short package. So it's all the volume is right underneath you. It's pretty much a flat design, except for a small bevel on the side. Just like in windsurfing, flat is fast. And I think this is the shape that we're gonna see going forward in all wing boards. You want that speed to be able to start planing and then to get yourself up on foil. That's the best way to get these high aspect foils up on foil. It's not just pumping and trying to get the lift. You need to get speed. So I think we're gonna see a lot more of this. All of these new tail designs are a lot, mostly gimmicks. You know, we saw it in kite surfing when I was helping develop boards with zero gravity. We were trying all kinds of different tails and stuff. We pretty much just settled on the, the flat square tail, just like you see now. So yeah, I think this is the, the shape that we're gonna see wing boards going forward. I think it's gonna be a flat bottom, a fast board, you know, squared off tail. I think that's pretty much, that's pretty much all you need. So I think right now this is the best shape out there for wing boards. As for the construction, uh, this is a styrofoam core with carbon fiber a shell. As for the weight, I don't know what it weighs coming out of the box. You know, I've done a few repairs on mine, so it's getting a little bit heavy now at this point for me. But right out of the box, it felt pretty light, especially before you had the foot straps and all that stuff. I would say it's probably around like 11 pounds or something when it's first out of the box. There's always a trade-off with weight versus durability. You know, you can go super light, but then you're probably gonna break the board unless it's, you know, something that's been mass produced with like some new materials, but that tends to be more expensive and requires a big company. And some of their shapes are not very good. Most of the Axis stuff has a pretty good uh, compromise between weight and durability. I have had to do some repairs on my board. You can see one here. And uh, there's one on the other side. I'm pretty hard on gear. I would like to see them put another layer of carbon on the rails. But I mean, I jumped this thing as high as 10 feet from the bottom of the foil. And, you know, I, I jump a lot too. So uh, I haven't broken anything. The mass track has had no issues. Um, I've just dinged up the rails, mostly traveling and putting it down too hard on something maybe a couple of times from landing on the board from like 10 feet. Um, but I have a, another friend who's a good rider and he has no dings on his board after having it for a few months. So, you know, just get yourself a case if you get this board, that'll help protect the rails. Um, I'm also gonna show you what I use to repair it. It's not a big deal to repair your board. You just wanna make sure you get it sealed up so you don't have any water going in. This board also, I think it has a Gore-Tex vent plug, so you don't even mess with that. Uh, the only other con on this board is when you're crawling on and off a lot, it is possible to uh, peel the deck pad up. So if you'll see there's some black stuff on mine, uh, just get yourself some rubber cement and seal that and re-stick it before it starts getting ripped up, um, just to keep the deck pad in good shape. But yeah, the shape works so good. I'm a big fan. I recommend testing it out. It works really well with the Axis foils. You know, I first got this board because I was switching over to the Axis foils and when I had tried them out on my 75 liter slingshot wingcraft, I couldn't get the foil far enough forward to provide the right lift uh, so that I could ride with the foot straps where I wanted them. I like the front foot strap to be in the same spot for not foiling as when I'm foiling. You know, if I have to move the straps farther back to make the lift work, then you got to start with your foot out of the strap, then move it in. It's an extra step. It doesn't really make sense to me. And the mass track is far enough forward. It actually looks very similar in placement to the slingshot mass track, but it's far enough forward that I can ride my foot straps. I'm in like the second or third from the front uh, hole. 
So I can ride it there. I can have my foot here all the time. I don't have to switch it. I would like it if the, the mass tracks were a little bit farther forward in the future. I tend to ride them pretty close to the front, but it works very well as is. Also, the board just looks really good, which I really like. I just ride this 65 liter all the time. Go to Instagram, you'll see me jumping this thing, you know, five, eight feet, doing flacos and stuff. It's an awesome board. And uh, yeah, I really like riding it. I just want to show you a couple of repairs I've done. If you look closely, you see some dimples. That's from not sanding and filling well enough before spray painting. Make sure your epoxy is compatible with styrofoam. And then, yeah, you're just going to fill it, glass it, sand it, maybe fill again and sand again. Uh, this one you can't even really see until I zoom in. And then you can see some dimples from my not great sanding job. Um, this is a repair kit I recommend from West Marine. It comes with epoxy, it comes with hardener, it comes with filler, it comes with some fiberglass strips and a couple of brushes. Really great. And then for the painting, this is a semi-gloss Pantone 186. I got it from My Perfect Color. It was like $60, kind of expensive, but when you have these two uh, products combined, you know, if you get a ding, it's really not a big deal. I can fix it in, uh, you know, one or two days and then it... In photos, it looks perfect. You know, in person, maybe you can see it, but it's not a big deal.